In a significant development, the Indian Navy has approached the Indian Air Force, as the Navy is looking to combine its 57 carrier-based fighter jet tender with the Air Force's 114mm RCA fighter jet tender, as the larger requirement of around 100 carrier-borne fighter jets will be met with the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter, that will be ready for trials in 2026. The Indian Navy is currently awaiting response from the Air Force, and it is to be noted, that out of all the competing fighter jets in the Air Force tender, only the French Rafale and the American F-A-18 Super Hornet have an operational naval variant. If the Indian Air Force accepts the Navy's proposal, which will also bring down the cost of the fighter jet due to economies of scale, then the case for the procurement of Rafale fighter jets becomes more stronger, as the Air Force is not keen on acquiring the F-A-18, and has already paid for 13 India-specific enhancements on the Rafale and required infrastructure at two of its bases. In order to meet the acute shortage of naval utility helicopters, the Indian Navy is looking to lease 18 light utility helicopters on an urgent basis for a period of four years, and the vendor will be responsible for the maintenance of the helicopters. The leased helicopters will come equipped with machine guns, which would later be retrofitted with indigenous systems as per the Navy's requirements. After receiving several modifications, the advanced towed artillery gun system has started user trials from yesterday, and officials working on the project have said, that around 200 howitzers can be produced and delivered to the Indian Army within 18 months, while the Israeli Athos howitzer in competition would take a much longer time to be produced. The indigenous howitzer has a strike range of 50 kilometers, which is 10 kilometers more than the Israeli howitzer. The Indian Air Force has shared few pictures of 15 hexacopter UAVs that were flying in a coordinated manner from an air base, and this test of indigenous swarm drones is very significant, as it uses artificial intelligence to enhance its combat capability, and it can be used for targeting enemy tanks, infantry combat vehicles, and also jam enemies' communication systems and radar systems on the battlefield. The Union Minister of State for Defence has said, that the much-awaited joint venture facility between Hindustan Aeronautics and Safran will be established in Goa soon. The engines of advanced light helicopters and light combat helicopters are common between Hindustan Aeronautics and Safran, and they will be maintained at this Indian facility. He also congratulated the private sector firm Hughes Precision, for setting up an ammunition facility in Goa under the Make in India initiative. India and the US are now fully ready to actively share the real-time maritime military intelligence data, through the recently concluded agreement known as the Maritime Information Sharing Technical Arrangement, and this will significantly enhance the level of cooperation between the navies of India and US. The Mr. Pact is completely about the military domain, as the Indian Ocean region is seeing rising presence of Chinese naval vessels.